And down the stretch they come, huh? Here we are uh, headed towards mid-November with still a lot of stuff unsettled. But the games that we're going to talk about today uh, have to do with some of the, the smaller schools who are still uh, in, in line for some big things to happen. Hi, everybody. Warren Pepper, Gene Safikoff, brought to you by Lee & Associates uh, Commercial Real Estate with some more pigskin picks. Gene, Citadel still undefeated. Headed to North Carolina. Amazing, Warren. 10 and 0. What a great job the Citadel has done with Brent Thompson. And that's a credit to all the players mm. and also the coaches, Mike Houston and Kevin Higgins, in the past for helping build this program. I think the problem here going to Chapel Hill is twofold. Number one, North Carolina is well aware that the Bulldogs won at South Carolina mm. last year, and they'll be reminding their players of that all week. And two, North Carolina coming off a loss to Duke. Um, that's got a smart, and I think the Tar Heels are going to be extra motivated this week and, and probably win a couple of touchdowns. Yeah, it's kind of a bad time to arrive in Chapel Hill if there ever is a a bad time. It's so pretty up there at this time of year. But it won't be a great sightseeing trip, I think, for the dogs because the heels can throw it and run it. And they've got depth, as you would expect for a school that size. All those things uh, against the Citadel and the fact that they beat South Carolina last year. That's pretty fresh, all right? So I picked those dogs to lose for the first time all year. It's not the first time I've picked them to lose. This time, I think they actually will. Now, Kennesaw State comes into Charleston Southern, and all of a sudden, the Bucks still have things in their own control. Uh, this is for the Big South Conference mm-hmm. Championship, and Warren, I got to hand it to you. You called it last week. We both picked CSU, but real, you really, having talked to Jamie Chadwell, sense that mm-hmm. they were going to play with emotion at Liberty, and they did, and they just came out and hammered the Flames. I think they got to come out with that same kind of emotion here because Kennesaw State is no pushover. Very good football program, very good athletic department yes. there in, in baseball and other sports that they're building there in suburban Atlanta. I like the Bucks to do just enough to get by here, and back-to-back so, uh, Big South Championships would be something. Something else. Yeah, they've really got an opportunity right there in front of them. And uh, I tell you what, though, they do have to go in with that same drive and that same passion and that same commitment that they did in Liberty last week. Otherwise, what they did last week <laughs> accounts for nothing. So I'll go with the Bucks as well. Now, on a national scene, there aren't a real... I'm not a number of sexy games. The Oklahoma-West Virginia game, though, does jump out at you as something that could be a very competitive ball game. Well, slamming the Big 12 has become mm. kind of a cottage industry in college football, but these two teams are good, and Oklahoma, if they win this game, I think has an outside chance if some things fall right to get into that college football playoff four as they did last year. Uh, very tough place to play in Morganton, but I think Baker Mayfield and the guys can uh, – pull it out and at least make things interesting going forward. Maybe there'll be some more upsets like the carnage that was last yes. weekend. Well, you said carnage, not chaos. And uh, that's that's actually a, a break and a nice uh, respite for, because there was so much of that last week. I'm going to go with West Virginia. A, a game at night there is a pretty tough environment. It, it kind of it, it reminds me of night games at LSU in in many respects because there's just a lot of stuff going on on and off the field there under the lights at Morgantown. So I'm going to go with West Virginia to give Oklahoma its third loss this year and maybe that Big 12 conversation all of a sudden evaporates altogether. All right, so there you go. Those three for the video. All 10 games in Gene's column on Saturday morning. Good luck. A number of you better this last week. We'll see how it goes this time around.